Okay, traders, let's look at USD CAD. Thanks for joining me in this analysis. Um, in the month of September, the market has been moving upwards, uh, which we were expecting. Um, if you saw my analysis in the uh, last week of August, um, this is what I was expecting uh, because of this candlestick pattern that we saw. And another reason is that uh, the market has created this W structure, uh, which I talked about early this year. And since then, the market has been falling. And now it has reached that profit target of this W pattern right at this level. And that is why we are expecting market to move upwards now. And that's what has been happening in September. Let's look at the weekly time frame. On weekly time frame, as I mentioned in my previous analysis, that you know the market is, the market has opened very strongly, and now it is moving upwards, and it has created a very strong candle. There was a little bit of retracement here, uh, which is expected because the market has been uh, bearish for a long time. So, uh, like you know, that bearishness won't go away very easily. It will take its own time. Right now, uh, we can expect the next week to be bullish. It can come all the way to like, you know, 1.32906, where the previous structure is available as well. Um, however, it may take like, you know, not just one week, it may take a couple of weeks, but we are expecting USD CAD to move up first. And if that happens, that means uh, there'll be more strength in the DXY as well. So if I go to the daily time frame. Um, this is what we were expecting. Um, we had this W pattern and that's why the market fell down and we were able to take very good short position here. And then we, were, we are still uh, like, you know, looking for a good confirmation to go higher. And the reason behind that is coming from the weekly time frame, as I mentioned. And you see that in this process, we are also creating a W pattern. If this level of 1.32588 is broken, then we are looking for somewhere around 1.33326 to be reached minimum. But it can go all the way to higher levels as well. So if I bring an original analysis that we had, these are all the levels that we were looking at previously uh, let me quickly remove the fibonacci here okay so this is the w pattern that we traded uh, last week it turned out to be a very good opportunity um, it gave us near about uh, 100 pips or so and then um, i said market could move back into this level of 1.3258 so if the market actually comes over, comes around here then obviously we have this long opportunity waiting for us. But if that level of 1.32580, uh, that level is broken, then we are expecting market to move into 1.33201. And it may go all the way into this level as well, which is 1.33923. Um, let's change the color of it to match others. And now what we can do is, you can just clean it up a little bit so that we know where we're looking at this move has already been done so if this happens then we are looking at that however we can see that you know there is when there is a possibility of w pattern there is always a possibility of m pattern as well so in case this level of 1.3159 is broken and we're looking for a move into somewhere like 1.30530 and the reason behind that is because we have this w pattern and uh, that means actually no um it may come into 1.30933 first so it's going to be a little here, around here and if that is broken then we are looking at uh, approximately 1.30286 so like an you know, retest of that previous low so that's what we are looking at. Uh, let's go back to the higher time frame once again to see where we are. Okay, this is what we are expecting. If the market starts to move higher, then it, this is a level. And if that is broken, then we are looking at this level, which coincides very nicely with previous structure and moving average. So this is how we can, like, you know, do the multi time frame analysis and come up with uh, very good confluences. So this is my analysis on USD CAD. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found this useful. If you did, hit the like button. In the comment section, let me know what you think about this analysis. What is your own plan on USD CAD? Um, how are you analyzing USD CAD? What is your analysis strategy? Uh, let's share that. Uh, share that with me as well. And um, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share my ideas with other traders and trading communities. Thank you.